Hi, good afternoon. I'd like to talk to you about life in the sixth form. Life in the sixth form is lovely. Uh, it's really a special thing to be able to work with 16, 17, and 18 year olds all day long, six days a week, uh, and watch them grow and watch them become the best versions of themselves. And we do that through a variety of activities. So the first thing we do is we have a lot of clubs, a barbershop group, medical society, law society, and these six form clubs take place during lunchtime, they take place after school, they take place sometimes in the evenings, and they take place during CAS. At the moment, we offer CAS on a Wednesday afternoon, periods four and period five, and we really hope that students can enrich their experience here at Hockroll by engaging in things such as the Afro-Caribbean Society, which you'll hear about, through Model United Nations, through the Bar Mock Trial Group, through Amnesty International, Interact, and a whole variety of topics. My favorite bit of CAS is the student-led clubs because students get to explore, interact, and lead on issues that matter to them, such as Black Lives Matter, such as voting, such as budgeting and getting ready to go to university. In terms of positions of responsibility in the sixth form, we have a variety of positions, starting with prefects. Prefects, quite frankly, help us run the school, be that with after-school clubs, be that at lunchtime, be that just as being that model student for other students lower down the college to emulate. We have a group of senior prefects, eight this year, my magic eight, and they lead the Sixth Form Student Council. They help with inter-house mentoring and boarding. We do peer-to-peer -peer mentoring with other members of the Sixth Form, mentoring younger students. Some of that takes place during lunchtime. Some of that takes place in the boarding house where students can express some concerns about what it's like to be growing up, what it's like to be a girl in boarding, or what it's like to be far away from home. Amongst the other things that we do in terms of positions of responsibility is we have a very active group called Interact. And Interact is student-led uh, with faculty support. And that is really our place of raising funds, raising awareness, and having all sorts of fun things to do. We'll run a Christmas candy cane uh, auction where you can buy candy canes and write messages on them to give them to your friends, to members of staff, uh, to teachers, and just to express thanks about the holidays and upcoming. We run a Valentine's Day auction, and the students also will lead a year seven disco to help new members of the community settle in. Also within the positions of responsibility, we have music. So we have a sixth form student who is in charge of assisting Mr. Bond with all the music productions in terms of organizing the sheets of music, organizing the practice sessions, and making sure that those all run smoothly. They will help with assemblies, they will help with the termly concerts, in terms of organizing and in terms of making sure that students work together and work together effectively. Similarly, in drama, students will help backstage. They will do the choreography for the uh, drama productions if, when there are musicals. And a couple of years ago, we ran a murder mystery here at Hockroll with Hockroll, the building, the fabric of society, acting as one of the characters, which was very well received and predominantly student-led. We also have within the sixth form, keep prefects. And keep prefects are those students who have to organize the sports, organize the music competitions, and other house competitions within the school across the years to assemble points for the Vine Cup at the end of the year. The formals and socials make up a great deal of the highlights of the six form evenings. In the beginning of the year, in September, we have a year 12 formal where all the students get dressed up in their finery and we have a very formal dinner which is catered by our catering staff to a very high standard. And after that dinner, we often have a musical concert or a disco. That happens again in free year 13 and the beginning in, of September, just to reunite ourselves and to get together and have a good evening. We also have had in the past winter formals and those are themed. Uh, including masquerade balls where everyone comes with masks and has a very fancy dress. Or we've had uh, casino evenings and casino nights were great fun 
where we had a variety of casino type of games uh, organized and run by members of staff with students playing with hawk roll dollars, uh, which translated into prizes afterwards. In the springtime, we have more spring formal dinners, again for year 12 and again for year 13. And finally, we have the Leavers dinner in June. And that is off-site. Uh, that is a catered dinner with music, with dancing, and with staff and year 13s to say goodbye to each other in a very formal way. In addition to those formals and socials, there are a num number of weekend events for the boarders where we've had go-karts, we've had bumper cars, we've had all sorts of games and events and ice skating and all sorts of things to do that. Sport within the sixth form is another big area for us. We run sport on a CAS session Wednesday afternoons, and we highly encourage that one week out of the two, students do some sort of sport. Now that can be mixed hockey, could be boxing, could be swimming, could be badminton, could be volleyball, football, trampolining, strength and conditioning, or even yoga. And all those things help students, I think, to become balanced and to become settled in their physical selves and also to get out of their academic heads for an hour or two. Some of the sports that we do end up with competitions with other schools. So area six forms will compete with hockey, will compete with volleyball, will compete with basketball, will compete with football. Finally, we will run intramural or inter keep competitions within the sixth form uh, at the beginning of a term. Also in the sixth form, we have termally musical shows and those shows can be just our sixth form musicians. They can raise money for uh, charity by having those events, or they can also be within other year groups within the school. And the sixth form are key to these events, and they often feature as soloists or as the backup group to a member of staff singing, perhaps. We have drama productions, and those tend to be an annual musical and the sixth form students are key with respect to running those. And lastly, but not leastly, we have various art exhibitions and that gives the students a chance to showcase their artistic ability in drawing and painting. In addition to the termly shows, the sixth form often put on their own concerts and often will participate in themed shows orchestrated by the lovely Mr. Bond. Traditionally, we have offered three summer trips for the sixth form to participate in. Those trips have tended to be to India, to Uganda, and to Croatia, and they're all very, very different. The trip to India involves a trip to the King's World Trust, which is a school, and in that school, our students will participate in lessons, will teach lessons, and will produce a musical. This is a chance for students to engage in experiential learning to live in a society that's vastly different from their own, to interact with people on a variety of levels, and finally, to discover strengths that they didn't know they had. The second trip we run is to Uganda. And in Uganda, we go to a place called Kira Farm. And Kira Farm is unique, I think. It is a place where people from northern Uganda who have been victims of child soldiers or who have had their villages decimated, come to train. And those trainees will learn a skill such as farming, carpentry, or building. And when we go to Kira Farm, we live with those trainees. We learn some of the farming techniques, the building techniques, including how to build a toilet, and some of the carpentry techniques as well. We also teach in a primary school, that's a local primary school, and we engage in Uganda culture and, Uganda f and Ugandan food. Um, we're also fortunate enough to be able to go up to one of the national parks with the trainees and see some extraordinary wildlife and some of the most beautiful waterfalls I've ever seen. I highly recommend any of these trips, but Uganda has a special place in my heart. The last trip we run is to Croatia, and this is a scientific research expedition trip. And it's a two-week trip, the first week is spent working with scientists in the national park and categorizing microscopic marine life and their vitality. In the second week of that trip, uh, students have the opportunity to learn how to become PADI certified divers 
and can engage in diving on very many levels. Lastly, I'd like to talk to you about pastoral support within the sixth form. Uh, we're very fortunate in that our tutor groups are a roughly one to 10. So you have a tutor and 10 students. So that tutor is that student's first port of call. That tutor knows those students. Those students know that tutor. In the tutor group sessions, students can often be seen debating topics such as whatever's in the news and also having conversations on a level that has nothing to do with their academics, that has to do with their interests as people, that has to do with their growth, that has to do with their concerns. And that international mix of students and that international mix of students who are boarding and who are day students gives the sixth form a really unique flavor. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have an office in the sixth form center and being able to look out my window and see students chatting and talking and working is a real privilege. It's absolutely essential that I can look out and grab a student if I need to chat with them about something, or they can pop in and we can sit down and have a chat about universities, uh, about courses, about what CAST projects they want to do, about what's going on in their homes or their home countries, and just have a feeling that we make a difference as an individual. In summary, I think that Hot Girl Sixth Form is unique in that it gives every individual an opportunity to grow and to become the best version of themselves.